Here is my painting of Stitch. And as I usually do, I start off painting the background. And this background, I used a mixture of uh, black color with blue and a little bit of purple. And then I splashed on some, um, some blue that I mixed with white for the stars. And then I started painting the, the wood planks that I'm gonna have Stitch sitting on. I usually like to paint the background first before I paint the subject. And sometimes that throws me off a little bit on where the subject will be or, or I might have to fix the, the background a little bit once I figure out where the subject is, is gonna be. But I generally like to do it that way. And so right here, I'm just sketching in Stitch. I had to lift him a little bit from where I initially put him on there. And so you see that little jaw line that I'm that I eventually erased. And I only I only erased it by painting over it. So here I'm just working on the front of those wood planks that he's sitting on. Just getting all the details in, in so that it stands out a little bit, but not too much, not more than the subject. And getting a little reflective blue and pink light from a Stitch's body onto those planks. And then I start painting inside and with a lot of it, I did have to do two layers of paint because the the background, the dark background did kind of show through the teeth and the, the tongue, the mouth, because those are a little bit lighter colors. So I had to put a second layer on those. And same with the light blue in the eyes and the 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 bottom lip and the the body. That's why when I fill in over dark colors, I I like to mix white in there because white covers uh covers up the background pretty well so for the ears i mixed a lot of white in with um the reds and pinks and there is some white mixed in with the blue that i'm painting the the rest of the body in with so i was able to cover the the background pretty well And while I'm painting this, I'm I'm putting light colors where I want the highlights and uh, darkening it where I want the shadows, but I'm not making strong lines around the body because in the end, I'm going to use that black paint marker to, to make them stand out. And now here's that black paint marker. And I use the white paint marker too to put those uh, white dots in the eyes. 
And then I go back to the outline with the black paint marker. And you can see what a lot of what I painted earlier pops out more now that I added that uh, that black paint marker. That works well with a lot of cartoon characters. If I'm doing something more of a realism drawing, I won't or a painting, I won't use that black paint marker like that. But in this case, I I do in these cases. And here he is, Stitch. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are, haven't already. Thanks for watching.